are back with another episode of Cooking with Mimi, and we are going to be making an Easter dish. Um, it's, kind of, it's a white chocolate candy truffle, I would say. Um, so you're going to need some white bark coating. It's basically white chocolate. Some M&Ms, peanuts, and sprinkles to top it. So you're going to need actually a crock pot. I forgot to point that out um, because this is the way it cooks, not in the oven. So you're going to take your white base coating and you're just going to in your coating and you plug it in the crock pot so it can heat up pre, you can preheat it. Um, you're going to need your um, roasted peanuts, you're just going to pour them in. And all of this is going to cook um, for one hour, so you're not going to need the M&Ms for the first step because those will come in in the second step. Okay, so if you're following this video, don't get too excited and put all of them in together because it's not going to work out. It's officially been one hour and our bark um, chocolate is all melted. It's all creamy and crunchy. Um, so now what we're going to do is we've already taken the lid off, so we're going to add in our M&Ms and pour it, pour it in. Um, and then mix it real quick. It smells so good. Now I'm gonna mix it one more time. And then we're just gonna take our ice cream scoop and we're gonna put it on um, our parchment paper, top it with one m and m and sprinkles. It's pretty simple, so just take it. It's probably gonna um, slide off, just don't worry about it. And it's like, it's like all the nuts together and it's supposed to, um, cool down. Okay, so we've done a few off camera. Now we're going to take our sprinkles and we're just going to drizzle a couple on there. Like so. And you're going to take your M&Ms and top one on them. Kind of like a cherry. Just going to do the same for all the others. That way they're nice and beautiful. And they'll taste even more delicious. And then come back to me when you have all of them chopped like this. So we've let these cool, and now they're all dry and everything's set in place. And they look very crunchy and very creamy. Perfect combination of everything. Uh, so now we're just going to do a little taste test to make sure everything is good. Mm. The nuts on the almond nuts go perfect together. Probably why they made me have nuts. These are actually like pretty quick. The only thing that takes a long time is the actual like melting of the chocolate and stuff and letting it cool and all that. But it's a very um, cute little Easter dessert and um, they're very delicious and everything just goes perfectly together. Um, so I hope that you all had fun and loved this dish. I will see you all next episode. Bye.